Summary of Sula by Toni Morrison The story takes place in the bottom neighborhood of Medallion, Ohio. This area used to be a thriving black community but is now a golf course for wealthy white people. In the 1910s, there is a man named Shadrach who lives in the bottom. He joins the army in 1917 and fights in World War I. He sees a lot of violence in Europe and is very hurt when he gets back to the bottom. After this, Shadrach suggests that the people of Bottom have a holiday called National Suicide Day. He walks through the streets and yells and rings a bell every year. At first, the people of the Bottom don't pay attention to Shadrach, but over time, National Suicide Day becomes a normal day on the calendar. Helene Wright is another person who lives in the Bottom. Helene was born in New Orleans and was raised by her grandmother, who loved God and did the right thing. He was a cook, and she married him when she was young. Wright moved Helene into the bottom, and the two of them had a daughter named Nell. Helene quickly got a reputation for being a very good woman, and she taught her daughter to be the same way. She takes Nell back to New Orleans to see her grandmother Cecile, who is Nell's great-grandmother, when she is a little girl. Helene is on the train to New Orleans when a racist conductor yells at her. All Helene does in response is flash him a huge smile. Nell sees that the black people on the train are staring at Helene because she is acting so politely. Nell vows that no black man will ever look at her this way again. They get to New Orleans too late, Cecile is already dead when they get there. Instead, they meet Helene's mother Rochelle for a short time. Rochelle is a prostitute and doesn't care about Helene or Nell. In the early 1920s, Sula Peace also lived in the bottom. She is a girl with a strange birthmark on her face that looks like a rose with stems. Sula lives in a house that is very different from Nell's. It's big, messy, and full of people. Sula is mostly raised by her grandmother Eva Peace, who is old and only has one leg, and her mother Hannah Peace. Eva was married to Boy Boy, but he broke up with her after she had Hannah, Pearl, and Plum. Eva gave her whole life to raising her kids. She left town for months one winter and came back with only one leg but a lot of money. There are rumors that Eva let a train cut off her leg so that she could get a big insurance payout. Plum, Eva's youngest child, joined the army and fought in World War I. When he came back, he looked dirty and like he had become hooked on heroin. Because Eva was sad and loved her child so much, she doused Plum in kerosene while he was sleeping and set him on fire, killing him. Hannah, Eva's oldest child, always had a feeling that Eva killed Plum. In 1922, Sula and Nell are 12 years old and are good friends. Nell is bullied in the city, and Sula watches out for him. They are close because they are both lonely. Sula and Nell go to the Ohio River one day to flirt with boys. They only find a young boy named Chicken Little by the river. Chicken Little is pushed by Sula to climb a tree with her. Chicken Little doesn't want to follow Sula up the tree, but she does. After getting to the bottom, Sula laughs and swings Chicken Little around by the hands. Nell watches as Sula's hold on Chicken Little breaks, and the bird flies into the river. He goes under the water and doesn't come back up. Sula and Nell are scared that they killed Chicken Little and run for help and to see if anyone saw what happened. Shadrach owns the shack that is the closest house. She goes inside and finds Shadrach there. She tries to get Shadrach to say that he saw what happened on the river. But Shadrach says always before she can finish, which Sula takes to mean that he did see the accident. Nell tries to comfort Sula as she runs outside and notices that her belt is gone. The body of Chicken Little is found in the river a few days later. They are afraid that they will be punished for their part in the child's death, which makes Sula and Nell feel bad. Hannah Peace is burned alive in 1923 for some reason that no one can explain. In the days before she died, she told Eva that she had killed Plum. Eva doesn't say she didn't do it but she says she couldn't stand to see someone she loved so much hurt. After a few days, Eva sees Hannah outside the house with her dress on fire. Eva pushes herself through the window of her second-story home right away to protect Hannah. She then falls to the ground below. 
Eva and Hannah, are both taken to the hospital right away. Eva survives her fall, but Hannah does not. Before she is taken to the hospital, Eva sees Sula watching her own mother burn in silence. Because of this, Eva starts to dislike Sula. Nell gets married to a good-looking man named Jude Green in 1927. Green wants to work on the New River Road, which is the big road that white contractors say will connect the bottom to nearby towns one day. Nell and Jude are very happy at their wedding and can't wait to have children. She leaves the bottom after the wedding and doesn't come back for 10 years. At this point, Jude and Nell have a number of children. Sula, meanwhile, goes to college and visits big cities in America in search of love, but all she finds are men who want to sleep with her. Sula goes to see Eva Peace when she goes back to the bottom in 1937. Eva is said to have cut off her own leg to get an insurance policy by Sula. After a few weeks, Sula calls someone at a nearby nursing home, and they come to take Eva away. Sula meets up with Nell again. Nell is still married to Jude, but she's not as happy as she used to be. It makes Nell very happy to see her old friend again. Jude is immediately interested in Sula when she greets him. Soon after, Jude starts having an affair with Sula. When Nell gets home in the afternoon, Jude and Sula are already in bed. In a few days, Jude moves to Detroit without Sula after telling Nell that he's leaving her. People in the bottom start to dislike Sula because they know she slept with Jude and sent Eva away from her family. In 1940, Sula gets really sick. Going to see an old friend is something Nell hasn't done in a long time. Nell wants to know why Sula ended their friendship and broke up their marriage. Sula tells her that she is strong and independent, so she can do anything she wants. If we were such good friends, how come you couldn't get over it? She also asks Nell. Nell leaves Sula because he is angry, and Sula dies soon after. The bottom gets frosty after Sula dies, and then a wave of sickness comes through. Shadrach walks through the streets in January 1941 to mark National Suicide Day, which he does every year. A long time ago, a young girl with a mark in the shape of a tadpole, we know her as Sula, came into his shack. When he took the girl's belt, he whispered always, which meant that the girl would be okay even though she had a strange birthmark. He is shocked when a large group of people walk behind him and cheer for National Suicide Day. They walk all the way to the cliffs above the river and look down at the so-called New River Road, which is really just a dirty pile of bricks that will never be used for anything. White businessmen's hypocrisy makes the people of the bottom throw rocks at the road. A sudden piece of the cliff falls off, killing dozens of people who fall into the river below. The last part of the book takes place in 1965, and Nell is now a middle-aged woman. Eva Peace is still living in a nursing home, so she goes to see her. Nell is asked by Eva why she killed Chicken Little. Nell is shocked and says that Sula killed the boy, not her. Nell runs outside the nursing home and sees a graveyard. She finds Sula's grave and the graves of the Peace family. It dawns on Nell that she has missed Sula all these years, even though she thought she had been missing her husband. Even though she screams out for her long-lost friend, no one is able to hear her. About the author Toni Morrison was born in Ohio to a working-class family that had left the South to get away from racism and poverty. From 1949 to 1953, she went to Howard University. After that, she got her master's degree at Cornell. From 1958 to 1964, she was married to builder Harold Morrison. During that time, she had two children and raised them by herself. After she got divorced from her husband, she worked as an editor in New York City. It was there that she helped get Angela Davis's first books published. Her first book, The Bluest Eye, came out in 1970. After that, she wrote Sula, 1973, which was nominated for the National Book Award, Song of Solomon, 1977, which became her first widely acclaimed book, and Beloved, 1987, which helped her win the Nobel Prize in 1993. There are many universities where Morrison has taught, such as Rutgers, Howard, Princeton, and many more. God Help the Children came out in April 2015. Hope we summarized it fully and you liked it. 
please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so that we are motivated to create more videos.